Next up, we are heading to the back of deck nine to, what is it, the Starlight Lounge. We have got Platinum Diamond Party Time. Yeah. Let's go down the City Lights. Oh, that's busted. City Lights Promenade. Back into Starlight. We haven't technically been inside Starlight, have we, this trip? Oh, there they are getting the party already. Tunes bumping. That outfit is amazing. But anyway, let's, let me not get distracted. Oh, Alex has joined the band. Because we wanted to say thank you, not just for being here with us time and time and time again, and not just for being here with us on this final voyage, but also because y'all are the most loyal and you are some of the biggest parts of our carnival, not just ecstasy, but the carnival family. Just in time for the final voyage here on board the ecstasy, we've got a brand new-ish video. Well, for us, it's you. The celebration, the fantasy, the ecstasy! That's it, the list is over. That's the new part. Please give it up for some of our senior management and senior leaders here in the room, the master of the vessel, Captain McKellie Coppola! As uh, I always say on the ship, we are uh, a small community. We always used to say that uh, we are like uh, a family. And uh, we really feel that uh, you are part of this family. So thank you. Thank you very much. We won't ever see you on the ecstasy again, but I'm sure we'll see each and every one of you again on another ship sometime, someplace. Thank you so much for being here, and right now, I'm turning it back over to the Moon Dancers. Good evening. It is almost happy dinner time. Almost. Got freshed and cleaned up. Yeah. Look at that ship's wheel back there. <laughs> it's it crazy, looks good. Y'all. I had to figure out how to take it off here. That's true. Oh. Hang on. Oh. The gang might be here. Plum. Anyway, dinner. Oh, it looks like they're set up for a chef's table again. Good gracious. Yeah, there's some tunes here in the atrium. Star. place to be every single evening the Winston restaurant to come in tonight because they're going to sing a song for you a lot of you will know the song but this will be the last time it will ever be sung on this ship and the words have never been as poignant as they are now 
you can sing the song with mucho gusto and you're going to be led by Daryl here who's from the Philippines and uh, as you're about to hear there's Daryl and the crew will sing this song and it's dedicated to all of you music maestro please no, we can't sing the song the song is banned oh, yeah. see what we can get here all right oh my gosh this is not a cucumber sunrise what's going on I wanted to try a perfect storm it sounded really good perfect and storm. I've never had it and I figure what better way to have it on the clothes of an ex well that's true yeah. we have come out to the atrium for the grand finale farewell party with cruise director Alex we are like nine decks above the atrium but it'll be all right we can look down upon him like a very small ant from up here. We got something for all y'all out here, Katie. Do me a favor. Give me a party song. Tonight is not a Saturday. No, 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 no. We are not mourning the loss of the ICC. Tonight, we are celebrating her life for the past 31 years. So are y'all ready for a celebration?
Alicia Bolterberry is The party continues, but we are going to try to go catch the very last performance of the very last show on board Carnival Ecstasy. And there's a few items still holding on in the shops. All right, let's head into the Blue Sapphire one last time. Ooh, we stayed at the party until after these doors were already open, so we got a little booth in the corner. We're going to sort of get a skewy, skewy angle on the show, but you know what? We're here for it. So this is Motor City, which of course is the Motown show. I've been here since January 25th. I've been on this ship for the past eight and a half months. This is all that I know right now. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad to see y'all go tomorrow. Um, we've, we've never had this chance before as a company to properly say goodbye to a ship like this. It's not just closing night for this cast. It's not just closing night for this show. This is the closing night for the Carnival Ecstasy, everyone. Do we have any fans of the Temptations in the house? The Jackson Five, Lionel Richie, Aretha Franklin, Justin Bieber. If you just cheered, get out of my lounge. We just want you to enjoy your last night here on board the Ecstasy. So let me ask you, SC family, are y'all ready to take it back to Motown? Well, please, one last time, put your hands together and let's hear it for your cast of Motor City! This sign used to say odd and teach us that this was the odd hall. Oh, that used to be 
somebody's cabin. Um, guys, I'm lost. Ow, man. Oh my gosh! You and 09 are living in for me. We have come back to the cabin to find one last towel animal. But it's not a heart. Well, that's true. It's not to get off our ship heart. It's, it's a, not. It's a we can't bear to have you on this ship anymore, bear. Good, Good night. Last night. Yeah. So tell me about your day. Oh, man. Where to start? It's a day. I tell you that. First of all, we're so honored and blessed to be able to be a part of a final sailing of a carnival ship because apparently this is not a thing that they've done before. No. Like we've said goodbye to ships in the past and I know there's been people on final sailings but I don't know if they knew it and they didn't do as much pomp and circumstance as this one. This was awesome the way they did everything. All the special events, having John Heald on board, the auction, and having Halloween on top of it. Um, it was, it yeah. was perfect. The emotions were extremely high today mm -hmm. <laughs> from us and crew and just the people who've yeah. been on the ship and it means so much to them so love to be able to be a part of that absolutely yeah i think in the past because i mean you know carnival has gotten rid of ships in the past but i think they yeah. were being sold like you know when mm -hmm. they lost the festival jubilee carnival all of these ones i feel like they didn't know necessarily that they were immediately going right. to be scrapped i don't know the history that well yeah i don't either unfortunately yeah but because you know there were people on final sailings but i think they still was like okay there's a hope this ship is right. going to go on to do something else and then during the pandemic, we lost five fantasy class ships without being able to say goodbye to them. That was tough. This is the first ship where mm -hmm. we've been able to properly give it a goodbye. We lost fantasy, inspiration, imagination, sensation. What's the other one? Other one? This one? <laughs> is this the fifth one? This is the fifth one. There's more. Yeah. <sighs> um... But yeah, even though our, our first encounter with the ship was not our finest. No. <laughs> looking back on it, we always try and see the silver lining. It made for a great series. It was fun. We were with our friends. We met yeah. Sean and Steph for the very first yeah. time. Oh, we were with Ricky and Laura. It was it was awesome. Orange memories. hat. Orange hat. Orange hat really. came from that. Um, so it still holds a special place in our heart, obviously. And yeah. we spent 10 days on this ship. And it's in beautiful condition still. It so, really is. Honestly. And there's been no smells. <laughs> Whatsoever. It has been an infinitely better smelling time this time. Yeah, so so much good came out of that series. We just had to, you know, say goodbye like everybody else needed to do, yeah. too. Fascination. That's oh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, I really it. had to think about that, Joe. Um, but I hope you guys, like, really enjoyed. We tried to show all the special events yeah. and... Oh, so many tears were shed. My, I, I was fine until the crew members came out to sing, you know, leaving on our, our fun ship. And yeah. they were crying and it was just... It means so much to them because they've been on the ship for a long time, mm -hmm. and the smaller ships are very special to people. If you hadn't had a chance to go on one, go on one before there aren't yeah. anymore. Yeah, elation and paradise are all that's left, y'all. Even though they're smaller, they're still more fun, I think, and you get to know the crew better, you get to know people better. There's just a really family feeling about the whole thing, so I'm sad yeah. to see it go, honestly. I don't have else to say. That's it. So we're <laughs> I getting cried ready. Like three times. We're halfway through packing. <laughs> we're getting ready to finish packing. I'm going to go talk about the shower a mm -hmm. little bit, and then we will see you for debarkation morning. The show is excellent. Oh, yeah. That cast is phenomenal, and I hope they get to perform again together because their energy yeah. is off the charts. Yeah. All right. Good night for now. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you in the shower. Bye. <laughs> And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay Carnival Ecstasy Sweet Edition. Huh, let's do it. So in the suite, we have a bathtub. That's the first thing. Big old bathtub. I don't know why I'm pointing out the bath mat. Um, grab bars. Actually, really like nice tile work. All the tiles are here. Nothing is missing. Everything's in good shape. Um... Is that the plug? Okay, that's the plug over there. I was like, what the heck is that? Controls are good. You've got your on off and your hot cold and all that stuff. We have a, what is this doing on my snack shelf? This is clearly for a steak and cheese sandwich. Y'all, that steak and cheese sandwich earlier, it had horseradish on it. Anyway, uh, we got spa stuff in the shower for the shampoo and shower gel. Um, all in one shampoo conditioner, which, eh. But nice detachable shower head. Yeah, the water pressure in here, is like amazing. Some of the best water pressure I've seen in a shower. Big old clothesline, which is always important to us. Shower curtain, but I mean, it was a good, okay, well, okay, here's the only thing is when you close the shower curtain, 
and like you start getting to the end, excuse the waving the camera around, if you want to close it all the way to the end, it's like six inches too short. It pulls away from the wall. So you do this. Oops. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Now the problem arises when you get in the shower. We showed earlier in the vlogs, D standing in the bathtub. <sighs> the distance between this floor and this tub and the ceiling. <laughs> Help, I can't see you past the shower run. Y'all, I am doing squats right now. Um, there's a ceiling. There's, I don't know what this is. Why is it hanging down? They should fix that before. Eh, never mind. Um, if I stand up st straight, okay, there's, oh gosh, this light shining on my head is not very pretty. All right, if I stand up straight, this is the angle. All right, let me stand up fully. Oh, that hurts. Um, that my head is at. So, hey, what's up? There's the ceiling. Uh, so lots of squats happened this week. Lots of um, bending, leaning, exercise. Y'all yeah, don't come on this ship, cause this shower is very short. So um, like we're we're slightly worse than um, what was it? Disney Magic territory, cause the angle on my neck did not feel this bad at Disney Magic. So uh, yeah, ecstasy, we love you. But um, here it comes. Bye. We are all lined up, making our way down now. I think we actually get off on deck seven. Hey, we didn't go in the library, did we? Oh, we did. Okay, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. All right. Time to vacate. Last steps off Carnival Ecstasy. We're not doing the happy dance this morning. Or close to it, so we are gonna say bye to Ricky, Laura, Robin. Uh, we're gonna see Ricky and Laura again in a week. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get Robin back in there soon. All right. How was your last? How was how was the final ride? It was excellent, especially with friends. It made it better. I know. Bye, y'all. Bye.